this one more swig. nightmare. This will never happen again. No more. No more Superman. No more. Now, in all honesty, I haven't watched either one of these films since our dad rented him uh, back in the day in the 80s when they first came out on video. Um, and I haven't seen them for, what, 40 years now? So it was, let's just say it was, it was very interesting revisiting both of these films with Superman 4 definitely being the worst of the entire franchise and universally hated since its release to the point of killing off the franchise for 20 years. Christopher Reeve disowned the movie immediately when it was released and for the rest of his life. I mean, it was just an absolute disaster with Superman 4. It was bought by Canon, so it was produced by Canon, not Warner Brothers. I mean, you can tell the migraine-filled annoyance of how bad this movie is just by the opening titles alone that looks very cheap, very amateurish. And even the music, the iconic Superman theme written by John Williams is in the wrong tempo. The, the wrong notes are being played. This is an actual quote from the film's composer, Alexander Courage, who said that the German recording a symbol wasn't talented enough to perform the work executing the wrong tempo of the theme. And yet, the producers went with it anyways. This film was a total disaster from the get-go. And Nuclear Man? Really? That's what they came up with? This guy? Really? And what the heck was that? Uh, now, in my Superman 2 review, I pointed out that the producers, for some oddball reason, suddenly decided to switch gears, switch tones from what made Superman the movie so great. And taking the sequels, aiming them in a new direction, more towards kids, pointing them more towards kids, making them more kid-friendly, with director Richard Lester fully at the helm of Superman 3. Probably not a great choice to helm a full Superman movie. Uh, prior to Superman, Lester had a background in directing uh, made-for-TV movies and sitcoms. And yeah, it clearly shows with his three-camera setup structure and just his, his uh, amazing, groundbreaking humor <laughs> that just completely falls flat in every direction. <laughs> 
And just as with Superman 2, the 2008 Blu-ray of Superman 3 and Superman 4 both had numerous problems with heavily crushed blacks that engulfed uh, details, some dull lifeless colors, and also with Superman 3 especially has inherited softer shots uh, that looked pretty bad with even some blurriness in it. Thankfully for the fans out there, whoever you are, of Superman 3 and 4, both have been given a new 4K restoration from the original 35mm negative, forming a new native 4K DI with HDR10 and Dolby Vision grading, and also both have a new Dolby Atmos mix. So let's get into it and check out all the improvements and differences between the previous Blu-ray of Superman 3 and this new 4K UHD. Guys, I have honestly never seen Superman 3 look this bright, fresh, and clear before on home media. The color reproduction is just outstanding with the HDR10 and Dolby Vision really opening up the color gamut wider, giving way to a, a significant boost in colors and also color depth with rich lifelike primaries from the vibrant bold candy cherry and crimson reds to cobalt and natural blues, yellows are electric. And again, just as with Superman the movie and Superman 2, just looking at Superman's costume, that's it. That's enough to understand the higher dynamic range uh, to the colors in the image. Uh, secondary colors such as uh, oranges, uh, like the orange from the heat of the fire, uh, to pinks and purple and earthy tones, um, look just as terrific. And saturation is perfectly balanced without it looking too harsh or artificial. There is just a lot of life and vigor throughout the presentation while still remaining completely faithful to the original source material. I will say this though, and I'm not sure if you can actually see it here with the screenshots. Superman's suit can tend to go greenish, slightly greenish, uh, because of the matte shots. They weren't done correctly. Um, however, this is just inherited issues as the Blu-ray and the DVD have the same problem. So it's not a problem with the transfer as some have thought. Now one thing the Blu-ray really suffered from was from a lot of crushing in blacks that really engulfed many of the details and even I noticed some grayish blacks that I spotted. Uh, this has all been fixed now with the 4K. We now have all those deep inky black levels and rich velvety shadows that we all love, giving an incredible amount of depth to the image now, especially with night scenes that look more natural, and darker scenes too that holds on to excellent shadows, giving full dimensionality to the image throughout the presentation. Also, the Blu-ray leaned more towards a creamish white, and also I noticed some a lot of blooming issues and blown out hotspots. Here with the 4K, we now have excellent bright natural whites that also gives more life to the highlights while maintaining detail. Now just as with Superman the movie and Superman 2, Superman 3 also has a tremendous reference point with the extraordinary level of details here. From skin textures and facial close-ups looking much more lifelike now, uh, we can make out imperfections, strands of hair, and texture of clothing. We can now make out weaves and stitching in fabric. Also, I noticed that the computer screen has finer lines and the computer text is fully legible now, while on the Blu-ray it was very slightly blurry, also along with other writing. Now this biggest area, also arguably the best part of Superman 3, is when Superman fights himself in the junkyard. It is just stacked with very active details everywhere. You can make out all types of junk and garbage, even making out the slightest rust and dents and scratches and markings. It just looks remarkable. Also, all the rock formations of Grand Canyon, the landscape just looks incredible and lifelike. And the ending with the entire supercomputer scene, we can now make out all the lights and switches, buttons, wires, all the mechanical parts. Uh, the presence of detail and texturals just abound here. That also has finer lines and looks razor sharp. And I didn't notice any artificial sharpening done to the image. Grain structure is intact here with a nice thin layer of grain giving a very nice cinematic appearance. And the bit rate ranges between 70 and 85. All right, now we're done with this thing, so let's get rid of it. And we're going to talk about this thing right here. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace.
It is what it is. Superman 4 also comes in swinging with an extraordinary crisp, fresh, and lifelike image. The HDR10 and Dolby Vision grading really gives some nice boost to colors that are bold, full, and very strong vibrancy to the coloring, such as the electricity and beams that come out of Nuclear Man, and likewise the bright, full, and vivid coloring of Superman's suit. There is also a very nice natural glow to the fields of Kansas, uh, the image just looks very lifelike and natural that really pops off the screen throughout the presentation. And just like the last three films in 4K, there is also a tremendous amount of detail and depth uh, on full display here. From skin texture to clothing to the ridiculous moon fight, seeing all the rock and dust, even down to the tiniest moon pebble. And near the beginning of the film, when Lex Luthor is in the rock quarry, we can clearly see the chalk and rocks. The detail levels on this is just tremendous with razor sharp clarity and I didn't notice any artificial sharpening done. The image also holds to a very light uh, grain structure giving way to very nice and organic cinematic appearance. Superman 4 The Quest for Peace 4K just looks outstanding. It's just too bad the movie isn't. Alright so my score for Warner Brothers presentation of Superman 3 and Superman 4. I'm going to give them both an overall a 4 out of a 5 for video and audio. Now if you're a fan of the films, ditch those old outdated Blu-rays and pick these up because these are just great, beautiful transfers. Alright, but now head over to the comments section because I value your opinion. When you look at the differences here between Superman 3 and Superman 4 formats, between the Blu-ray and the 4K, which do you think looks better? Again, head over to the comments section and let me know. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me uh, the past couple of videos talking about Superman, uh, comparing the 4K to the Blu-ray. As always, guys, keep physical media alive, and I'll see you next time with a better movie.